YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Time, where it's late in the evening with your host, Haley. So, uh, playoffs started on Wednesday. Woo, playoffs. And I have tutorials for you all. For you lovely ladies out there that secretly love hockey, like this one here. Go Boston, go Boston. Yes, um, so I have chosen um, to do 30 uh, nail tutorials for you for the playoffs. Um, I'm going to do one per team, of course. Um, I have started, well, I'm going to start right now, just for y'all, on the Anaheim Ducks, because they are first on the list. I'm going to go in alphabetical order, um, and... It's really hard finding uh, nail art um, actually online because not a lot of girls um, that I've noticed um, actually paint their nails hockey stuff. So it's a good thing I'm doing it, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going off of logos and I'm kind of just trying to think of things that are pretty and, you know, jazzy. You know, jazzy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Anaheim Ducks is going to be our first one uh, tonight. Um, now, as you know, that's the little Anaheim Ducks D. And um, all my uh, logo nails, because I'm trying to do logo per nail card, because you guys know my nail cards. Um, all my logos are hand-drawn. I do not have any stencils. I don't have any tape. So, I apologize for non-straight lines and blah, 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 because the mail is still on the way. It needs to get here fast. Okay, so I am going to adjust the camera and we are going to not do any of these designs. We're going to do another nail to add to this because like you guys know, I don't like everything to be the same. It's gotta be switched up. It's gotta be jazzy. So I'm gonna adjust the cam cam and I'll BRB, so pausey. All right, bunny hands. Okay, so for the design that we're doing, we're doing a play on the old, because um, I don't know if whomever's watching, but um, the Anaheim Ducks used to be the Mighty Ducks, as in the movie, the Mighty Ducks. So, you know, purple, green. Um, so I'm going to do the old, you know, the duck mask over the hockey sticks with the green background. Um, this green, you guys are gonna love this, oh my gosh. Brand new color by Sally Hansen to Extreme Wear, number 280, Jazzy Jade. Can you believe it? I was so stoked, and they were only like $2, they were all on sale, love it. Uh, and you'll also need um, a white. I've chosen my number 300 white on Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. You will also need a black, number 370 blackout, also Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear. And for my um, my hockey sticks in the background, I've actually chosen my Sally Hansen Insta Dry, uh, number 120 go for gold, gold color instead of an orange. Because I'm trying to make, you know, things jazzy. Just like jazzy time. Um, you will also need a dotting tool. Now, if you don't have a dotting tool, you can use a pencil, a pen, uh, the head of a pin, a bobby pin, a toothpick, whatever you can get that is small and pointy to point things. Or dot. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dropping things to dot things with. Um, also, I have my... Striper brush that I have stolen from an old striper that I have used all the way and stolen the brush from because the mail is coming and so are my nail brushes. And uh, to clean your brush, I have a little cotton roundy that I am going to put some non-acetone remover on. Because I use my non-acetone for my brushes and my acetone on my nails because that's just because. Um, tip, if you like your nails 
Don't use straight acetone on them because apparently it ruins your nails. But I keep my nails painted all the time, so I don't care. Oh, and you're also going to need a little piece of paper to put your little dabbies on because nobody wants it on their coffee table or table or wherever you're doing your nails. All right, so I have my little kiss nail here and I have done a double coat of our Jazzy Jade Green. Now, I'm going to start with my white. Put some white on my little card here. Barky barky. Security system works. All right. And um, if you're a shishi, there's people walking down my hallway. Goodness gracious. So uh, if you're br if you have a brush and your brush is crunchy, if you put it in your little cotton pad and you roll it, it will become moist again and easier to paint with. So, um, this one's kind of, uh, tedious, um, if you're not artistic, um, I thankfully am. Uh, so we're going to, I do kind of like a number, I guess it's like a, a number nine to start the top of the, the duck. And then um, I carry it down and over. Kind of like a, I guess a G or an E. To me it looks like an E right now, but it probably looks like a G when it gets flipped around. And then I connect that with a peek and swoop and then I'm going to fill all that in with my white nice and solid And again, you don't have to use, you know, a striper brush and white paints like I am. Um, you can go ahead and use a stripe, like an actual striper. Um, I find the, the paint in stripers are uh, very thick and globby. So that's why I've chosen to um, use my striper brush and regular paint, uh, regular um, nail polish because it is uh, thinner. So I've gone and filled in my little um, duck mask here. So I'm gonna pause and I'm going to let this dry and we'll go on to the next step together. All right, hey, I'm back. All right, so this is uh, dry, our little uh, silhouetted duck face. Um, so now we're gonna fill it in, oh, well, not fill it in. Uh, we're going to outline it with our black which is kind of difficult, but it's very fun. I like it. I know I'm very, I'm artistic. Um, you, I think you can order stencil and nail art stencils online or the um, stickers or whatnot. Uh, so I'm going to follow the outline first with my black up to a certain point there at the bottom um it's like the the bill 
of the beak. And before you continue any further there, um, oh, I'm going to move this a little closer so that I can, oh, that's perfect. Um, so you want to bring the bottom part of the bill up and in like that. And then you want the top to curl up over the top like a little duck bill. And then before I finished this piece here, I actually um, started on the eye part. It's hard for me to do it upside down, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to try, though. So I started with the, um, the brow. I hope you can see me. Oh, no, don't come off my stick. So I gave it like that little angry, angry duck. And then once you've done the top brow part, then you can continue the top of the head and bring it down and uh, connect the top of your head. And also you can outline the cheekbone there so then you kind of have that silhouetted your white silhouette is now outlined and then you can connect the duck bill in the middle to the middle of the um, eye line there and then Put a little mark in between there for the uh, that angry little dimple. And then simply add in our our eyes, just like that, coming together real nice. And then I add a little off the side of the eyes. That little angry mark off the side. And now, a little more black because my black's starting to dry. I'm going to give it the um, the hockey mask dots that it's supposed to get. Just like that. And now it's not always going to be perfect. Like, like mine isn't perfect, but it's pretty close. So, you know, job well done. <laughs> uh, so now while this is drying, I'm going to clean out my brush here. And we're going to put our gold on our little paper. And then from the edge of the mask, I'm going to do a little gold crisscross in the background just to represent those hockey sticks that crisscross in the back. And 
And yes, it does take a little bit of time to do. And you can um, you can outline your sticks with some black, which is it is what we're going to do. Um, or you can leave it plain because it actually looks really really nice. Um, yeah, you can add whatever you like. Um, it does take time. Like I think I just said that <laughs> it takes time to uh, to do these particular designs, but. When you're a big fan of certain teams, passion is everything. Like my Boston, which is number three in the alphabet here. Can't wait to do that. Gonna be so much fun. So, um,. Uh, Just giving a real quick outline with my striper, my black paint, to make those crisscross in the back a little more prominent. And then you can let that design dry and add on your clear coat and you are good and jazzy and great to go to your hockey game and cheer on your Anaheim duckies. Okay, so there is our nail card. That's that cute little design that we just did together. And like I said, you can switch it up any way you want. And yes, this one is a little better than this one, but this one was freehand. And this one was simply done on a white background, which makes it a lot easier. But for those girls that are Anaheim Duck fans, there are a few cute ideas. You can always switch it up. You don't have to use my ideas, but I just thought that, like I said, there's not much out there on the net for hockey nail art. I thought I'd give it a shot. And I think we did a pretty good job. So yeah, um, next one that will be up, um, I'm going to kind of do one regular tutorial and then one hockey tutorial to kind of break things up because I know nobody wants to see straight hockey. But there are those hockey fans that love to see stuff like this. So, um, yeah, the next one is, um, got to get my list. Next one on the list is the Arizona Coyotes. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to do a vlog with you guys tomorrow, I think tomorrow or the next day. We're going to do a prank in a hotel. We won't see the person get pranked, but we're going to be making the prank together. It's going to be very, very fun and devious. Devil horns. Um, waiting on the mail still. I think I've said that like 50 million times now. Um, yeah, so click, comment, like, subscribe, share. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Please, um... Let me know if you guys want to see anything so I can add it to my list. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna watch this game over here now. And then I'm gonna go to bed because we got some early driving ahead of us. So, give this a shot if you're an Anaheim Ducks fan. You know, go Ducks. Boston. Ha. Uh, and, uh, have fun doing it. And if you guys have any, uh, other, any ideas that you have done, Send me some pictures. I'd love to see it. Um, yeah, so everybody have a good night. See you later. Stay jazzy.